Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So, as you can tell, um, I this is not my normal background. I have moved, I'm in hospital accommodation at the moment, working as an interim doctor in the Midlands, which is good, which is great. So I've worked for just over a week and um, let me tell you, a couple of days before I started, I was really, really nervous because I hadn't um, really done medicine for a few months, like ever since the lockdown. Uh, life was quite busy. And um, and then it was Ramadan, and then after I thought, actually, no, I think this is the time to, um, to get involved and actually spend a couple of months, a couple of weeks, more than more, about a month and a half, um, working as an, as an interim doctor. And, uh, and I think part of the reason was because I didn't really want to be uh, not working at, uh, in medicine from March to August. Um, going from a fifth year medical student who hasn't really done anything for several months to suddenly be a doctor who's responsible for several patients. It wasn't really, um, it was, was not making me feel um, safe. So um, for that reason, obviously, I took on the interim post and we get um, supervised. Um, yeah, we get we do things under supervision the first few days, and then, um, and then we just function as a normal F one is anyway from then on. So we start the day by doing ward rounds, and uh, so it's myself, another junior doctor, and a consultant. Uh, sometimes there might be a registrar there as well, and um, so we do the ward rounds. I prep the notes, and so I write on the on on the on the medical notes quickly present it to the uh, to the consultant you know this is a, this is a 65 year old patient who's presented with hematemesis um, and shortness of breath and uh, they have a background um, history of XYZ and this is what we've done for them so far this was the plan yesterday um, we've chased up bloods and these are the bloods today or yesterday and this is what they're scoring in terms of their obs um, so those you kind of prepare them and then they ask a couple of questions and then we see the patient. After we see the patient, then consultant tells you what to do. So they might say, um, could you repeat bloods? Could you order this ultrasound scan? Um, could you ref have a, uh, could you refer them to this team? Could you ask a dietitian to review this patient? Anything that the patient might need. So these are things and then we write the plan on our medical notes, um, including like if there's any changes in medication, we change prescribe uh, prescribe that as well. So once we've written that plan, we also have a separate like a jobs list that we kind of because you can't be really referring to patients note patients notes every time you need to kind of think what what you are meant to be doing because that's we have forty patients and that's a bit too much. So as well as writing on the patients notes, then we also have a separate jobs list and that's where we write. And then for the rest of the day, we essentially do that. Then make sure any bloods. Uh, if there's any cannon lets to go in, we put them in. Any bloods, we take the bloods, uh, we order the bloods. Any scans that needs to be done, we sort that out. Um, yeah, everything, like that. and that's pretty much how the day goes by, really. Um, of course, during the day as well, sometimes patients may deteriorate and we need to go and see them and assess them. Um, and that's the end. <laughs> That's pretty much it, and um, and obviously when it comes time to discharge the patients, well, then we go, we do the ditch, discharge planning as well, um, and prepare their letter and send that off. Um, that's pretty much it, I think, currently. I'm on gastroenterology at the moment, um, which is good. I quite like it. I didn't get, I didn't have that as my rotation for next in the foundation year, so it's nice to have a rotation that I'm not going to uh, get a chance to do during during the foundation years. That's fun. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's my day off today because I'm working over the weekend and I'll talk about that later. I have a meeting in about three minutes, so I need to go. Um, but yeah, catch you guys later, bye. It's six o'clock. I'm home for one hour late, it's okay. That's the life of a doctor apparently. Um, it's been a good day. So it's actually a decent day, very busy. But there was another interim doctor and one SHO, so things are fine. Uh, sure. <sighs> Morning. It is Monday, post weekend. So yesterday, um, yesterday was a good day. Actually, it was very busy. <laughs> Let me just close the window. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Look how sunny it is. Gorgeous. 
gorgeous. Um, yesterday was a really lovely day. We were extremely busy. So it was really good. The ward run was extremely quick. <laughs> we did it in about two hours. And um, it was all right, actually. Like, I think once... It's crazy how I've got used to things over the past 11 days. It's not that many... I haven't been working as a doctor for that long, but I think you get into the routine really quickly. You learn very quickly on the job. Um, and a lot of the time, it's not the the medicine side of things you need to get used to. It's, lot, it's, um, it's, it's getting used to the system, knowing where to find certain things, knowing where to find certain forms, where to hand it in, the procedures of things that happen within the trust. Uh, one of the challenges I would say is we've had scenarios where uh, patients um, electrolytes, for example, would be all over the place. And that's quite a common thing. So um, I always kind of try and think about the judgment I would make and from what I've learned through med school and then just make sure that uh, goes within the guidelines and also um, get feedback from the senior so that in future when I when you know the senior might not be there I've kind of feel confident to make those decisions on my own so I try and get to the place where I make a decision um, and then I just get it double checked by somebody just so that uh, I'm on the right path and it's just a reassurance to myself as well. So today's my day off. I'm doing a lot of global health stuff and running a lot of errands and I'm just going to teaching as well. So during your foundation training and your training as a doctor in general, they do teaching for us and uh, they have t interim teaching for every Monday. Um, so I'm attending that that, tra that teaching today and I can, um, I can learn from it and then I can also add that to my portfolio. So as I mentioned previously, um, at some random vlogs, I think, as doctors, we have to keep our portfolio and update uh, our clinical skills and knowledge and um, throughout the year and just to kind of get through every stage of training. And um, this teaching, going to teaching, is one of the um, ways of showing that you are keeping up to date with medical, medical knowledge and your clinical skills, basically. Um, so yeah, so this teaching will be on atrial fibrillation, so it'll be good. Um, Today is the first day of last week of interiming. Does that make sense? First week, last week, first day of last week. Um, gosh, honestly, five, six weeks, I think this is the sixth week, have gone so quickly. It's, it's amazing. It's really amazing how quickly it's gone. I don't even feel it, which is good. Um, it means that the days haven't been too rough then. <laughs> if I don't feel like um, I've worked for about six weeks. So I definitely think it was a great, good decision that I uh, chose to do interiming, partially because I went through a few days of uncertainty, feeling inadequate and just getting used to the F1 job, managing those jobs. And I think that was going to happen uh, regardless of whether I was going to do interim or, or not. So I think it's nice to have got it up out of the way, hopefully. I don't want to have that again for paediatrics. Obviously, when it comes to a new rotation, you do go through similar motions, but uh, the skills that I have gained from the interim will definitely help me adjust better to a new rotation for paediatrics and just kind of getting your head around lists of jobs and... Uh, Little things like making medical notes, joining the wardrobe, make, making notes, chasing up bloods, uh, chasing up like any other investigate, investigative treatments that we need to do, presenting those cases, uh, speaking to the patients and their relatives. So those are skills that I will take from um, my time at the interim job. So really excited. Morning. Today I'm going in early to do an aesthetic tap. 